and welcome back to Excavation at Hobbs Barrow, the dimly lit pink horror of the underground. I already collected some of the greasy substance. Now, we have this really scary looking goat that I don't, I still don't know what to do about. And, oh yeah, we have two more pieces to collect for this panel, which maybe will make the goat go away. What in God's name? What in God's name, indeed. I can see another chamber through there. And that is the headache-inducing goat uh, system that they have. The, the alarm system that gives you headaches. So I was thinking about this puzzle, and I can't really recall any sort of code, so I'm just going to make them point, all point in one direction, and see if that works. And let's start with looking directly at us, because it's the scariest. I can't tell what that is. Is that a bird? The bust of an eagle. An eagle? It's facing south. It's facing south. Well, I guess we're gonna make them all face south. Because all of this situation for you, Thomasina, it's going south. This crank is jammed. It won't budge. Who put this jam in here? An ancient crank. An ancient crank. Well, we did have some viscous fluid. There was oil, I think. Pot of grease. Perfect. The greasy substance could act as a lubricant here. Voila. Voila. The bust of an ass. It's facing south. The ass is bust. The bust of a dog. It's facing south towards the ass. <laughs> Quite a view it has of the ass. Okay, we're moving that terrifying looking thing. A bust of a mighty is facing north. Well, that didn't do much. So I guess there is some reasoning behind this that I'll have to figure out. Oh well, I tried. A menacing goat carved from stone. I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. V I I Roman numerals. A bust of a mite its face. Hmm, I can't move it. There's an inscription on the base. Sauriel. So a quick g Google search didn't exactly unravel the mystery of these names. I'm not sure what they mean, but they might be angel. Uh, angel-like names. Hmm. There's an Sauriel. There is a Sauriel sort of archangel figure in uh, religious texts, and there are seven angels, and we have seven uh, seven busts. But if we refer to the journal to get a hint on positioning, it says all eyes must face towards the seventh archontic, and archontic also screams angelic figure and the seventh one is this one with the roman numerals and it's the only one that we can't move so let's make all of these busts face the creepy goat head hmm there's an infa i think this is a bet it's facing southwest towards the goat perfect that's what we want bust of a mu- it's facing west, towards the ass. Ah, I rotated too much. A bust is facing northwest, towards the goat. Lovely. Now it's time for the eagle. Uh, or not. It's time for the dog. The bust is facing south- Towards the goat. Perfect. The bust of an it's facing south. The bust is facing east. The bust it's facing north. Hmm. 
And there we go! Something has emerged from within the bust. What? There's something here. A curious object. I'll keep it. It's probably some more pieces to put on the... on the... on the place before the goat. Why are these all facing this way now? What are they looking at? A bust of a mu- It's facing east. It's facing east. There's no need to now. Well, I guess they just reset to, to default position for the next adventurer that will hallucinate into this place. Alright, don't mind me, goat. I'm just gonna add another piece of the puzzle. There we go. It fits. Does this go here? That doesn't fit there. It doesn't fit there. And if I remember correctly, we still had a puzzle with uh, all sorts of Greek letters, I think, which still needs figuring out. I'm unsure if this had any function. It seems bare of any detail. Whatever was once placed here is long gone. Can I place something here now? Like this? Hmm. No. What about a flower to spruce this place up? Hmm. No. What about some music in this place? No. Nah. No. Well, we tried. Was it here? No, we opened this up. We did that. We didn't do this with the wheel. So I don't know what this wheel is about. Oh yeah, we had a little pin. That we could only place on this side. The rod doesn't seem to fit here. It doesn't fit there, only on this side. Hmm. It moves a fraction. But it's locked. That doesn't fit there. The small rod is topped with the carved depiction of the Ouroboros. Small indentations and protrusions run along the shaft smaller than the one at the base, but I think this might be a dial too. But it's locked into position. We might need to find another rod for this part. A deep hole. Yeah, so I definitely need to find another rod to put on this side. Where is the other rod? Kind of run, running out of places to find things in. I can't believe they must be ancient. They must be ancient. Empty. 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 <laughs> well, there is no going back. But there is also not much going forward. Where is that rod of the Ouroboros? Empty. Empty. A thin rod with tiny notches along the shaft. The head is adorned with a coiled serpent. Wait a second. There was nothing in there. Where were you hiding? This is what I was looking for, and I was really getting desperate. <laughs> there we go. Now we have the second rod. So this went here, and this one... Please go in here. Yes. The rod fits perfectly. What? This one has a snake on it, right? The small rod is topped with the carved depiction of a coiled serpent. Small indentations and protrusions run along the shaft. Perfect. Now we're cooking. She said, as she had no idea how to proceed with this puzzle. I can't fit my fingers inside. But will these move now? It moves a fraction. It moves a frac- So we're still missing something. Is it this? Yes. It fits. It fits. Now we can move them. Something moved in another room. What moved in another room? Something moved here. Like the area is more lit, isn't it? The statue bears no moving parts or secrets, it would seem. Okay, it's just that 
it looks a lot more lit. Extraordinary. An Extraordinary. Ancient... I know not the world I find. What changed? Notice the differences. Nothing here. What about goatee? Goatee is, uh, same as usual. Good. Maybe I should re reference my journal for, for just a bit. See if I can find the era area with this puzzle. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. I'm not sure if it's referring to this puzzle with the wheel or the panel system that we're trying to, to find the last piece of. I think it's the panel thing with the sun and the moon. Something clicked. Clicking is good. Oh, okay. Things are happening. Goodness me. A shaft of inexplicable light is beaming from the mouth of the serpent. Extraordinary. A shaft of I knew this place was getting brighter. Extraordinary. An ancient monument. The statue is well out of reach. All right, we need to find the sun part and make I it can beam, see another beam down. Okay, another serpent. We need to have it have its beam here. A shaft of inexplicable light is beaming from the mouth of the serpent. Extraordinary. What did that do? Okay. That did it. What in God's name? A shaft. There is a queer heat em emanating. Yeah, but something fell. Could there be something inside? I think so. What's this? Oh, it's the last piece of a the panel. Piece of stone. Carved into the shape of a crescent moon. It must be important. No. Just throw it away. It's not important. Alright. That wheel puzzle was very much uh, just try it. Just try things and see what clicks. Uh, so it clicked and it worked for me. But now let's complete the panel and get rid of Mr. Goatee. Because now... The sun and the moon are joining, and the guardian shall be defeated. It fits. It fits. Ah, oh, it's gone. Kaja? Saja? I have no idea what it means. Kaj? I have no A small round niche has been carved into the side of this slab. A small Can you reach inside with a knife? No. Oh wait, serpent head. A serpent's head is carved into a small inset. A small round. A serpent's head is carved into a small inset. Well, we definitely want to get in whatever this is. A page, perhaps torn from a book? What have we here? This is my father's handwriting. A page torn from his journal? 
Samuel's hand was ripped clean off by an unseen force. Yikes. There was so much blood. It remains to be seen if Saxnot was the perpetrator of this shocking act. He's a sturdy lad and he'll live, but he is shaken. I'm shaken. Mr. Shoulder, however, seems very keen to push on. The man is positively chipper. He's right though, we do have a job to do, and by Jove, we will get it done. Saxnot. I'm not sure how I feel about this snack, snack sot, <laughs> Saxnot, just ripping people's hands off. Very, very rude. Two fearsome serpents have been painted onto what appears to be a shield. I can make out chains hanging from above, holding it in place. That is well out of my reach. That is well out of my... I wonder if this had any relevant meaning. Carvings with little notches inside. Another barrier to my progress, it would seem. Empty. 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 It's been smashed to smithereens. It is also empty. What a hideous sight. It is pretty hideous, but it will also open up at the mouth. The horn is missing. The horn looks quite real. Aha. It looks like something could be mounted here. Can I put a knife in here? That doesn't fit there. Ah, I thought it was a makeshift horn. The eye seems to follow me round the room. The eye... The eye seems somewhat loose in its socket. No movement there. Okay, so this one is a little loose. Can I just pop it out? It's no use. Too thick. If I can just wedge the knife under here... And there we go. Got it. I'm not sure if the bust is very happy that we did that, but... hey oh, What you gonna do? Is that... blood? Uh-oh. I said he wouldn't be very happy we did that. Perhaps I can find a key for this. A keyhole. A keyhole. Try as I might, I cannot pry it open. The mouth is clenched tightly together. I'm sorry for taking out your eye. The eye is rather unsettling to look at. Because it's probably a real eye. Maybe my room key will work in your eye socket. Hmm. No. What about using the eye in here? There we go. Remarkable. What a system. A keyhole. There's a key hidden in here. Take it. There's a key. I'll take it. Good. So, we have one lock, two lock, and one key. This is the key I found hidden within the small recess on the tomb. Hmm. The key doesn't seem to fit. But it will fit the bust. Okay, let's take- What a hideous sight. Let's take a clo closer look at the hideous sight. You're kind of mean to it, but okay. And maybe this fits here. It fits. Nice. Sounds like a mechanism creaked somewhere far above me. I'm not a I'm not a hundred percent sure if this horn thing <laughs> was supposed to be like this. So a mechanism moved around. But where? A keyhole. We're still missing a key, so that's to be to be continued. I need to find a way forward. It's no use going back. Oh, that's good to know. So all we need to do is in this room. The soil has hardened into a thick casing. I believe this might be the lid of the small tomb. It's very heavy. 
So can we disturb the soil a little bit? A goat has been buried here. Goats. How gruesome. Always goats. A horn has broken away from the skull. I'll take it. Very good. Because we definitely need it. We're just taking out body parts and putting some other body parts in. It's quite gruesome. I should take a... What a hideous... The horn fits perfectly, as if by design. A key! I mean, now it looks gruesome, the bust. The key fits. With its mouth open. Sounds like a mechanism creeped somewhere far above me. What a horrific racket! Okay, it's a lot of cats. <laughs> that dreadful sound seems to be coming from behind the opening. I can almost make out a pattern, a tune of sorts. It is well out of reach. All right, let's mimic the the audio pattern. Uh oh, oh no! No, that's not it. So I think it's a five digit? No, that's not it. It's a five digit code that we have to listen for from the wailing cats. Oh, <laughs> what a cool puzzle. <laughs> oh, wait a second. The musical transcript is right here. Isn't this it? It looks like some sort of pattern. It's right there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> So which way are we reading it? Maybe starting from here. And there we go. That was it. <laughs> you just have to look in the room. <laughs> And the cats have stopped a wailing. Oh no, there they are. Never mind. It's all just hogwash. Is this all in my head? I think so. I mean, it's... you may be here? Or you may be frothing at the mouth in the lavatories at the plow and furrow. <laughs> you don't know. The plaque is inscribed with Latin text. My father understood the language well. I'm afraid I don't. It says... My, my Latin is rusty also. <laughs> so I will have to um, translate this. I know that Luna is moon. A crescent moon. An eye. It is rather unsettling. A sun. All star. I'm just gonna save real quick and see what happens if I go through any doorways. I'll probably come back here. Oh, just gonna have a flashback. Very cool.
Hello, booby statue. Father? With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. Huzzah! I've found a skull! Oh, another page from my father's journal, I assume. A page, perhaps torn from a book? Ah, shit. I wanted to read the instructions again. I think I went the right way. But I don't have the instructions anymore. Damn. And I cannot go back, unless I mess up. This is my father's handwriting. My initial suspicions are proving to be true. We are not dealing with a mere folk goblin conjured up in the minds of farmers on which to blame their failures. Saxnot may dwell here, but he is not alone. I think back to all I have studied, all I have learned. Everything points to the possibility of a much more malign influence. Something long forgotten stirs within this bleak place. Something dark, something monstrous longs for attention. I have prepared the tablet. I will put an end to this. I don't understand. What is this tablet he keeps referring to? The palm of a hand. I think these are clouds. An array of stars. An array of stars. I'm gonna reload because I want to get another glimpse at that Latin that I need to translate. And then uh, we'll most likely come back here because I think it was the right path to take. All right. So this says, For thou art the moon, thou art the ruler of the stars, and hear all that I have spoken, follow the words of my mouth, show me. I don't... And now we're back to this. What is this tablet he keeps referring to? The tablet that he tried to bind a creature to, I think. I think the... Clouds, hand, and we will go ruler of the stars. So let's go in here. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Father! Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a feeling you might find something special. Can you hear me, Father? Is it really you? I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck! Thomasina, wake up! <laughs> Thomasina, wake up! I haven't seen this for years. You haven't seen these boobies for years. Something has been buried here. Something has been buried here. Why are you so chipper now? Thomasina, we don't excavate with our bare hands. But it's all I've got. I remember this. I remember this. I haven't seen this. Look, Dad. I'm doing it proper now. In my hallucination. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Empty. Where's the next one? What are we going to find in here? Place your bets, kids. Is it going to be a skull? Or is it going to be a goat skull? What kind of skull is it going to be? Wretched smell!
What is the meaning of this? Father? Cool, cool, cool. I think that was a dead animal. Cool, cool, cool. A burning flame. A single ear presents itself. An oak? All right, what was next? And hear all that I have spoken. So we were, we will hear. <laughs> Sup, Ma? She looks devastated. He is awake. He's awake? Or what? Mother? What's up? She looks de- Mother? Thomasina? Is that you? Father! It is! It's me! My dear, sweet little bird. I'm so very dreadfully hot. Please remove these covers. Don't remove they the covers. suffocate me so. Don't do it. Father, you can talk again. And I've got so much to ask you. So much to tell you. But please, first, the covers. I don't want to remove the co covers, Dad. It's kind of inappropriate. See, you made Mother cry. Mother? Very well. Father, your body... Oh, my dear, clever girl. You're so close now. How good it is to finally speak with you again. But... Don't worry. It will all be fine soon. You're close to the end, little bird. I feel like I'm close to my, to my end. To the end of this, um... Bad decision-making, Thomasina. I mean, I get... I get curiosity killing the cat, haha, -ha. but it's, um, yeah, this is not looking good for you. I'm not sure how this is gonna pan out. It looks like a rolling sea, or river. It almost looks poised to speak. A crown. Follow the words of my mouth. Well, the game saved, saved for me, so we're good. What is this area? Can you feel the tension building up inside you, building up inside you? We are going deeper down. That looks like a pathway. Can we go there? No. I have to say, I love the artwork in this game. And even these screens that look- that use like three colors. There's so much dramatic build-up just because of the extreme, uh, extreme contrast in the colors. I love it. Oh. Oh, what are we gonna find? Maybe this says alpaca. <laughs> well, this is where they make the sweaters. Well, no going back now. I have a feeling this all ends here. My God. Father, this ends now. I'm just gonna take another look at our journal, just for posterity, and see if there's anything else that I need to remember for, um, for uh, next time. 
A dead language reveals the path. That was the Latin path. And then I will pour out my spirit. Oh, I didn't even need to translate the Latin because it was translated for me right here. So if you ever have a <laughs> any questions regarding this part of the game, just check your journal. <laughs> and remind me to do the same. I heard a whisper, not once again and again, I will pour out my spirit. Soil. Yep, there's only soil in this place. There's something here, in the soil. A tablet, made of lead. There's an inscription scratched into it. Alige's daemonium incantamentum. With mine blood shall thou be bound to the earth, and only with mine blood shall thou be freed. Is this what Saxonot was referring to? Only she could free him. My father wrote this? I know what I need to do. I still scarcely believe what I saw looming over me in that Stygian chamber. How does one even attempt to describe the indescribable? The vision before me defied all logical explanation. All my efforts to do so have fallen on deaf ears, merely providing a chance to be mocked, pitied, and dismissed as mentally unsound. I dare not commit that unfathomable glimpse to paper, but it was real, Mother. He is real. Not an imaginary terror, but a demon. A god brought to life. I turned and ran, striving to somehow make my way out of that accursed barrow alive, inspirited by the hope that my squalid deed had freed Father from his plight. Speechless voices whispered to me in unknown tongues that grew louder with every step. Suddenly, there was light. I saw him too. That night I saved your father. Ever since then, I felt his corruption growing within me. It grew stronger and stronger as he raged against the incantation that bound him beneath the soil. I fought him with all my might, tried hard to bury him in the corners of my mind. Oh, Thomasina, how I tried, but I could deny him no longer. I became now but an instrument. His voice became my own. I deceived you. I'm sorry. I am his now. Soon we'll all be his. Hail the Brexit Rex. Well, I say she's done it, Leonard. Your Lordship. I believe she has. My dear Miss Bateman, there is a god about whom you know nothing, because men have forgotten him. 
We call him by his name. Abraxas. Welcome back, Master. Come, Leonard. We must await him at the chapel. Aye. Only there shall he be complete. I knew they were cultists. I knew it. I just... I knew it. Apparently, there's still more. Even after... reviving an ancient demonic god. Ah! Miss Bateman! Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. I don't think we're Miss Bateman anymore. I can't inspect anything to hear her voice. I can only walk. I think we're, uh, some, something else. Oh, yes. Yes, we are something else. Something else entirely. Look, Dad. I brought the first urn that I found. Take a look. Take a very close look. No, seriously. Really close. Mr. Kemp, welcome. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light. We've a full house for today's sermon. You'd best take your seat. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light, Mr. Long. You have made an Eden here, your lordship. We are ever so thankful to you. I assure you, Mr. Long, this is only the beginning. Please, join the others inside. My heart is his heart. And my light is his light, dear Leonard. How are you feeling? Rich as a fiddle. <laughs> After you. And now I sit in this dismal room, day after day, year after year. Imprisoned and committed with seemingly little hope of redemption. You have chosen not to visit me, and I understand that I do. Indeed, I've had but one visitor, 
Arthur Tillett. He comes to see me once or twice a year. A loyal and decent man who tried in vain to warn me of the wicked plot concocted by Lord Panswick and Mr. Shoulder. Thankfully, Midland Railway accepted his transfer request. He and his wife were able to leave that damnable village several weeks after my excavation. It feels like an age has passed since that fateful night at Ticehurst House. But finally, you have my full account. I thought I knew my father. As I look back on my childhood memories, I can only conclude that it was his wish to protect me from the true nature of his endeavours. But why didn't you tell me the truth, especially after what happened to him at Hobbsborough? Why did you allow me to grow up idolising a man who didn't exist? I did not kill father. It was he that guided my hand. I was in thrall to that most malevolent force, Abraxas. I beg you to understand. He has had his revenge, but I know he will return. Where is he now? What more is he capable of? I only wanted to save my father. Oh, mother, what have I done? Forgive me. Wow, and that was the excavation at Hobbs Barrow. You know when you go into a game thinking it's going to be a great adventure where good trumps over evil? Well, this is not that game. This is an amazing game with a very, very good, bad ending. <laughs> Abraxas got revived and we were committed to an insane asylum. I think there is room for a sequel based on what happened, but... I think it's just a standalone story of how, sometimes, the cultists win. <laughs> I've been the Zen Bear. Thanks so much for watching.
Also, don't forget there's developer commentary if you want to play the game again.